Japan's Tokyo Big Site hosted the International Robot Expo, or IREX 2022 in short. There were not only many industrial robots, but also a number of interesting novelties in humanoid and bio-inspired robotics. See the fullest report about the show in one video. Japan is the number one industrial robot manufacturer in the world, supplying 45% of all robots. The export share of the Japanese companies increased by 78% in 2020, when 136,069 industrial robots were shipped. But industrial manipulators are a separate topic. Here, we will look at the most interesting and unusual robots from the exhibition. Let's go! One of the most interesting and unusual novelties at IREX 2022 was the Capricorn robot from Kawasaki Robotics. It has wheels, legs, a saddle, horns, and a steering wheel. Meet Bex. The robot is a descendant of Kawasaki's Kalido humanoid platform. At least the legs Bex borrowed from it for sure. The robot can walk across rough terrain on four legs, and if there's a smooth road, transform into a wheeled platform. To do this, the robot literally gets on its knees and extends another pair of wheels with a motor from its belly. The robot can carry goods weighing up to 100 kilograms, but it is also designed to carry people, who can control the car with a steering wheel, just like you control a bicycle or a rider controls his horse. The developers believe that the robot can be used in construction and industrial plants to move goods and inspections, and it can also transport crops harvested by farmers in the fields. The robot can stream video from its cameras in its head. Movement is provided in two modes, direct control by a human sitting on top and remote control by remote control. At the same time, the robot also relies on data from sensors, such as the gyroscope, mounted on the robot to generate stepping movements. In addition, the robot monitors the position of the entire body and will not fall if suddenly struck to the side, for example or if its foot hits an unstable surface. Kawasaki also brought the Kalita robot itself, as well as its friend, which is called Friends. In the future, according to the company's vision, these robots will support people in hazardous jobs, as well as care for the sick and elderly. Kalido is the strongest and most agile of the robots. It can, or will in the future, get to the scene of an accident, clear the debris, and retrieve people from under it, which can be recognized even in a pile of gravel. The robot is 179 centimeters tall and weighs 83 kilograms, which should give it a range of motion like an adult male but limits its actions in small and narrow spaces. Although Kalita was suspended at the exhibition, the developers assure that the robot is exceptionally strong and not afraid of falls. The robot walks and moves like a human. For example, it is stable not only on half-bent legs, but also on straight legs. The maximum walking speed is four kilometers an hour. The robot is stronger than a human and can lift up to 60 kilograms. Also, Cleto is able to predict unstable positions for itself and adapt to them to maintain stability in real time. The Friends robot is 160 centimeters tall and weighs 54 kilograms. It can lift up to 10 kilograms and walks at three kilometers an hour, running on batteries. The robot is designed for entertainment, care, and support of people in hospitals and nursing homes. The developers have not indicated whether the robot can communicate with humans in a natural language now, but in the future, friends will definitely have this function. 
We've said many times before in our reviews that Japanese people treat robots as friends and helpers in everyday life. Perhaps in the future, friends will be available for home use as well. Kawasaki Heavy Industries also introduced its autonomous service robot, Nioki, which is capable of moving and working in an unstructured human environment. It is safe for humans, can open regular doors and easily handle boxes in a warehouse or trays in a restaurant. The robot is equipped with a LiDAR and vision sensor to create a map of the environment, understand its place in it, and notice everything going on around it. Nioki can also be switched to remote control if the robot gets confused or an error occurs. It is possible to teach the robot new skills by remote control. It simply remembers the movements the operator gave it. To move, the robot uses a system of AMR, Autonomous Mobile Robot, which allows Nioki to determine the route to a given target. Metacoroid, founded as a joint venture between Kawasaki Heavy Industries and medical electronics manufacturer Seismax brought its Hinatori surgical robot to the exhibition. The robot received regulatory approval last August and is positioned as Japan's first robotic surgical system. It has no narrow specialization and can perform a wide range of operations, thanks to its precision and large number of degrees of freedom. Human Machinery Company gave a demonstration at the show of its very impressive general-purpose robot working in conjunction with an aerial work platform. The humanoid robot is remotely controlled and provides the operator with feedback for grip strength control. The machine is equipped with powerful electric actuators that provide it with strength coupled with high-precision movements. The robot is designed to maintain railroads and other transportation systems and works exclusively in tandem with the operator. According to the developers, it allows not only to save jobs for people, but also to increase their wages by improving their skills, as well as to protect workers during operation with heavy elements, at height and not only. It is worth noting that the idea is not new. We have already seen something similar, though on a smaller scale from Sarkos Robotics, which is developing the Guardian XT robot based on its own Guardian XO exoskeleton. A wide range of service robots at the exhibition was presented at the stand of Keenan Robotics, which supplies its solutions to more than 30 countries. The robots are designed for the hotel and restaurant business. The autonomous robots are equipped with a positioning system with an accuracy level of one centimeter, which allows them to move in narrow spaces. They can communicate with users via menus and exchange data with each other. The navigation system allows the robots to quickly adapt in a new environment, and the auto charge feature makes it easier to use the robots. Interestingly, SoftBank Robotics Group Corporation is actively involved in the company's development. A moment of madness at the show was the robot musician Otomoroid, developed in collaboration with Maiwa Denki. He was playing very unusual for the European ear music on an even more unusual instrument. At the booth of the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, Agrist's autonomous harvesting robot was presented at the exhibition. The simple and cheap robot was designed so that the farmers suffering from a shortage of workers could afford it. The most economical way to, to move the robot was to use stretched wires. The robot uses computer vision to find and pick ripe fruit. At IREX 2022, Tokyo Robotics unveiled a prototype of a mobile gripper capable of picking up and moving cardboard boxes of various sizes without damaging them. The robot is designed for short distance delivery, palletizing and depalletizing in a small and medium sized logistics facility, factories and markets. The robot's left and right grippers rotate up and down independently of each other, 
and have a side slip function for neat palletizing jobs. Stable operation is possible because the position and shape of the cardboard boxes can be detected by computer vision. Each gripper supports four degrees of freedom and can lift objects 160 centimeters off the floor. The robot moves by means of line or marking on the floor. Future plans include support for a rail-free navigation using SLAM technology. Kawada Robotics brought at the exhibition its humanoid robot HRP-4. Very light and compact, only 39 kilograms at a height of 151 centimeters. The robot was a sensation in 2010 and has since been used by the company mainly for advertising. The main announcement of the exhibition was the humanoid collaborative robot Next Stage Philly. This is a continuation of the Next Stage line which has long been actively implemented in industrial enterprises in Japan. The robot, according to the company, embodies practicality and Kawanda's three concepts of development, compact size, matching price to performance, and design with high proximity to human. Philly is designed not only for enterprises, but also for other applications, such as the hospitality industry and the like. However, so far the robot's abilities at the reception desk are not impressive. Even though it looks quite dexterous in production, however, so far the robot's abilities at the reception desk are not impressive, even though it looks quite dexterous in production. Philly's price on the Japanese market will be just over $50,000. Honda Motor showcased an autonomous delivery robot co-developed by Rakuten. Its mobile platform for construction sites, which was shown only on the video booth, as well as the Uni-1 electric wheelchair and an avatar robot of its own design. The last one, by the way, does not look particularly technologically advanced compared to everything that is on the market today. Apparently, the company just wanted to show that it has such developments. Also, at the IREX 2022, there were Kotiki robots, which move in sync with each other. Apparently, they are designed for remote communication. An interesting novelty was a scooter for moving around theme parks with elements of augmented reality. No robot exhibition nowadays is without automated cooks, which are most often implemented on the basis of industrial manipulators. The complex based on artificial intelligence, Exaweed, presented at IREX, was implemented on the basis of Kinova and Universal Robots Collaborative Robots. It made coffee and Japanese pancakes. There was also a ping pong robot, Forpheus, from Omeron. The robot is highly accurate and almost never loses. For this purpose, it predicts the trajectory of the ball before and after impact with the racket, and also determines the movement of the racket, for example, its speed and direction of return of the ball. All in all, the IREX 2022 is quite unusual. The high technology here was combined with the surprising approach of the Japanese to the robots themselves. If you liked the report, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't miss new episodes from the world of high technology.